the effect of the Burmese python on native populations um, isn't totally known yet, but any time that you interrupt the balance of the natural ecosystem, you're going to have trouble. They do go after birds and they do uh, like rodents, and there's been one case where they found an, an endangered rodent, a key largo. Um, rat that was found in the stomach contents of a python. We have endangered and threatened bird species down there, so that could be a problem as well. Um, as far as our wading birds, just about any, anything that the Everglades is known for has been found in stomach contents, both endangered species and state-listed species. So it is a number one predator in this ecosystem that is not adapted to a big snake being a predator. But it's funny, it's like for every every animal that you could think that it might have an effect on seems like you can find one that it also would feed at some point and it's probably occurring now while we're trying to figure out this problem and doing our management as wildlife managers that the native species are figuring it out too they're like hey okay I got this guy down I know what to do now and that we've probably seen the peak of their population you know, all the way down to the, to the hatchlings. You know, you've got hawks out here, you've got ospreys. Uh, you know, we, we've actually found a specimen that vultures had been feeding on, it was still alive. You've got blue herons that regularly feed on indigenous snakes that could take these things as, as hatchlings. There's a lot out here. Owls, and, you know, raccoons will depredate a nest. Fire ants destroy nests um, of our indigenous stuff. Why, what makes you think they wouldn't be destroying the nests of, of an exotic? So there's a lot out there, contrary to what you hear about, there are no natural predators. You're right, there are no natural predators from Southeast Asia, but there are natural predators here.